The Four Steps to Starting an Internet Business One day you have decided you want to try your hand at an internet business. Well, you should know that there are many different people who are earning a living and even getting rich with this type of business. This does not mean that you should expect to make a million dollars within a few months, but with the right idea and plan, you can certainly create a profitable career with this business. Before rolling the dice and starting your own online business, there are a few things you want to be sure of. First and foremost, you want to be sure that you have the drive, energy, and enthusiasm to make it work. Very few, if any, businesses start off super strong and begin making a lot of money right away. You have to work on your business in order to make it a success, and there is no boss to look over your shoulder and make sure you're working. So, you have to have an adequate amount of dedication and be self-starting in order to be successful. I in addition to this, you should know that when you're starting a business, you may spend many, many hours working each day. So, instead of the typical 9 to 5 day, you may be spending 12 or 14 hours a day to get things going. It is a labor of love, and if you're willing to put in the hours and commitment, you can really make a go of it. Having said that, based from my own experience, if you're attempting to kickstart on an online business, you should first try to attend a workshop or seminar related to the subject. For most cases, any trainer of the workshop or seminar which conduct an introduction course on how to start an internet business from home shall teach the participants that in order to start an online business, the following four, four steps should be followed. Sad face one, you must identify the product slash service that you want to sell on the internet. Two, you need to have the website, web hosting, domain name and sales letter. Three, you need to determine how you want to be paid by your customers. Four, you have to promote, promote and promote your business. The product that you want to sell can be physical, for example computers, guitars, shoes, and others, while the non-physical products can be DVD, ebook, or others. As for the service, you can sell insurance, vacation spots, and many more. In order for you to sell your product or service, you need to have your website. Besides, you need to purchase a good domain name as well. Domain name is the address where people will use to get to your website. For example, if you're providing taxi service in the city of Newcastle, Australia, then your domain name might be newcastletaxi.com hosting is another important part of the process. You should choose a good hosting company, and it is best that you host your website in the country where your primary market is. This is vital for good search engine rankings. There's one thing that you should remember when you're involved with this type of business. Your website should be filled with a convincing sales letter. That is to say, when someone reads your sales letter, he or she will want to click on to the buy now button. There's no sales until your website reader does this. As I am operating my online business from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, I can purchase the domain name and the hosting from the same company. The cost of renting for both domain name and hosting is not more than 20 US dollars per year. You are certainly anxious about how the customers will pay you. You can choose several types of payment methods. By normal standard, it will be by credit card, bank in cash into your bank account, via automatic teller machine or bank teller, or PayPal. Your website designer can help you to install this in your website. As for me, I am using the last two methods. Perhaps the most worrying part about this business is how to promote your product. How to make people know that your business exists. Normally the trainer will cover this topic at the end of the workshop or seminar session. You will be taught that there are free as well as paid advertisements for your business. Free advertisements include but not limited to signature email, forum, leaving your comments in blogs, social networking, writing in your own blog, your website appears in SEO, and others. When you want to pay for your advertisements, then you may go for banner ads, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, etc. You can also advertise offline, for example, in the local newspapers and magazines. In closing, it is important to take the time to research each aspect of your business. Chances are, no matter what business idea you come out with, there will be someone out there who has the same idea. These will be your competitors. Do not be afraid to take a close look and see what your competitors are doing to make money and have a successful online business. If you see that the company is having success with one or more types of marketing, emulate them.
do what they are doing. This will help to get you on your feet and ensure that you're making the right business choices. IT will take drive and perseverance to make your online business works, but if you are strong-minded, you can certainly do it.